My name is R. Crosby Lyles, and this is news from the can. Sea surface temperature anomaly. Big blue spot in the Indian Ocean. I took notice of this because lately I've noticed that the sea surface temperature in that area has been on the warm side. All of a sudden I see a blue spot here, and, and the reason that I it piqued my interest is because I happen to know that the thermal haline overturning current sort of kind of cuts through there. What we have here is the red is a surface temp is a surface current, and the blue is a deep current. This map is a little different than a video that they have, and I'm going to show that in a second. This deep current actually comes a little further out this way. Most importantly, they show that this warm surface current cuts along this way. So your deep current surfaces and comes up and but actually it's it's further out this way and it sort of loops around and comes around this way and then the warm current cuts across this way. So this cold spot here is anomalous for a number of different reasons. Um, it should be warmer in this particular locale. I've done a time series of, and I couldn't find the sea surface temperature anomaly, so I did a sea surface temperature time series of every two years since 1978, June, every two years since 1978, just for comparison, just you know, get a perspective about what's really going on. Now this is kind of cool here. You will notice that, I'll zoom in here a little bit. You can see the Gulf Stream. See that nice little deal there. Very highly visible. So they, you know, and according to the the big brains, um, they say that the uh, North Atlantic current is slowing down, is actually considerably slower, uh, and the Gulf Stream is considerably slower lately. So to me, I'm looking at this current and uh, currents that run through the ocean, there's a lot of vortices. There's a, there's a lot of vorticity, and that vorticity it's it just means that there's a there's a sort of a tapestry of interconnected vortices, if you will, and um, it does look as though it's it's sort of weaker and, and maybe headed more south. If you look at the anomaly, the sea surface temperature anomaly, if you believe climatereanalyzer.org. I'm not trying to push this particular product. It's an interesting product. I like using it for a number of different reasons, um, just because of the way they do their graphics and what have you. But this is interesting. This is compelling here to me. All of a sudden, there's a blue spot right here where this overturning should be taking place. I'm going to play this video for you. Um, now... It's, uh, so you can see the direction. This is moving this way. This is going this way. That is, this is the, the lower current, warm surface current coming around here. And then there's a cold, deep current that comes around. And it looks like it, it just goes, continues on around here. So that's a little bit of a discrepancy. And I'm not really sure what, what the reason for that is, you know. I, I definitely suggest that everyone do their own research. Uh, but in, in any case, this is interesting. Um, there should be a warm current cutting right across, right through this area. It should be cutting right across. The only discrepancy is in the deep current. It looks like they have the deep current following around this way. and So this water temperature should be warmer. And there you have a blue blob, and if you look at the just the sea surface temperature, not the anomaly, but the sea surface temperature, it does look as though cooler temperatures are sort of encroaching upwards. Now this is getting to be late fall in the lower hemisphere. Summer solstice is coming up, so the sun's headed towards the uh, Tropic of Cancer. So we're not in the summertime yet in the northern hemisphere. If you ask the experts, it might be perfectly normal. But I've done a time series for June every two years since 1978. I could not get the sea surface temperature anomaly, which, you know, is sketchy anyway, but uh, it's not sketchy, but it's how do you calculate the anomaly? What's anomalous, right? So if you just have the sea surface temperature, you can just look at that and sort of compare. So that time series is coming up now, and uh, the word around the campfire is that... Um, this blue blob right here 
is a, a result of when the thermal haline current the surface current dives down in this particular area right here, it gives up its heat. So this should be actually anomalously warm, this section of the North Atlantic right here. And because it's anomalously cool, they believe that the thermal haline current is indeed shutting down. And when that happens, you actually end up having hotter summers in Europe and colder winters. So there's some stuff that, that happens that uh, basically means Ice Age type of stuff. So... There's a blue blob there and a blue blob here. You decide. Look at the time series, and, and uh, it's kind of interesting to see the change over, over the years. And that's about it. Uh, again, if you like this content, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we definitely appreciate it and love you guys. You know, take it easy. Uh, just remember that, uh, you know, we live in a mechanized society right now, and so whatever happens, we can deal with it. That you know you can grow five acres of food in a shipping container. They're doing it right now in New York City. That's the that's the big thing. Uh, organically grown, you know, organic fruits, vegetables, and what have you, grown in the city in a shipping container hydroponically. So we can survive, and and um, you know who knows who knows what's really going to happen anyway. You know we might just be fine and dandy. You know, just because there's a climatological shift doesn't necessarily mean it's the end of the world. It's a big-ass planet. Right now, there's, um, I just saw a video recently, and I, I can't, another one of the things that I, you know, I saw it, now I can't find it, of uh, rain in the desert as a result of these uh, tropical cyclones that we've seen landing in Yemen, coming across Arabia and the Red Sea, dumped a bunch of water out in the uh, Sahara Desert. So there's a bunch of lakes scattered in the dunes. What what sort of feedbacks are we talking about here? Now this happened back, supposedly happened in 1998, I believe. And that it rained quite a bit in the wintertime in Florida. We had a lot of rain in the wintertime in 1998. So um, so there are various feedbacks at work here. And, and you know, if it's raining in the desert over here, you know, it might be dry somewhere else and, and who knows, but it's a big planet and we can work it out. So anyway, that's it. Just keep, uh, you know, it's always good to sort of keep an eye on what's going on. You know what I mean? And um, help your neighbors. <laughs> that's pretty much it. My name is R. Crosby Lyles. Thanks for watching and uh, see you.